guys, welcome back to Mika Reacting Reviews, where we're reacting to things on the internet, same day, same shirt, different video, and today we're returning to Joe Rogan and guests. We're going to be talking about the incident that happened with Mike Tyson and the passenger who was annoying the fuck out of him in air on the plane, and Mike Tyson did a one, two, three uppercut punch. This is George talking to Mike Tyson, bro. This shit crazy, bro, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Dog done got lit, man. He over here rapping with Tyson. Mike Tyson trying to give us some shrooms. <laughs> you don't know how to act. Tyson looking out, man. This shit crazy. He should have never gave you his money. JetBlue, map flight. My boy just got beat up by Mike Tyson. Turn that way. Yeah, he got f***ed up. Just trying to ask for an autograph, man. I don't know what happened. And so they're gonna be giving their point of view about the incident, all right? So we're gonna get right into it. But before you do, if you like these type of videos, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell to get some notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel any further, you can donate my PayPal and Cash App link. is in the description box below and also in the comment section. Of course, it helps. But you don't have to. You can just like, comment, subscribe. And another great way to support this channel is either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my brand new merch shop. Links down below and links to all the alternative platforms, my socials, all the ways to support me, and all ways. And all the ways to contact me for business is always in the links down below. Other than that, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, here we go. <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. There's going to be conspiracy theories about why Mike Tyson lit that dude up on that plane. That's, you know what I mean? real simple. That dude was a douchebag. And he was. Yeah, uh, you he, see the other he video. He was annoying one of the baddest motherfuckers that, that's ever walked the face of the earth. Talk about kicking a beehive. <laughs> what the fuck are you that's doing, so dude? That's so dumb. That's not even kicking a beehive. It's like smashing. It's headbutting yeah. a beehive. It's like trying to put your dick in a sleeping bear's mouth. <laughs> like he just walked up and was like, "I'm gonna lower my wiener right into the bear's mouth." Mike Tyson. Also, there's a video that came out of the angle of him talking to someone, and he's like talking shit in a way where you're like, "This guy's hammered." and doesn't know what's coming. Because yeah. I bet in his head he's like, he won't punch me, he can't punch me. He's, oh my God. I bet he's a guy that thinks Mike Tyson's hands are registered lethal weapons. <laughs> <laughs> he strikes me as that guy who's <sighs> like, and he, by the way, I saw the guy's shape and I was like, that guy would kick the shit out of me. Well, it's so much better than the things that make you confident. The yeah. things that make you confident are dangerous. Like Th that's why, like or booze, and you get yeah. Mike Tyson punching on you on a JetBlue flight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that guy's probably on a bunch of shit. The guy who uh, Mike Tyson punched, apparently, according to the New York Post, uh, has a lengthy criminal history. Ah, uh, well, in, uh, in that case, if he's if he's had a lot of fuck ups and he's a you know a bad person, or whatever, he's going to go to jail. At least he got to get his ass kicked by a famous person. If you find yourself where Mike Tyson's reaching over the back of an airline seat and punching you in the face, I think you probably earned it. I think you probably earned it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think he. he fuck, you if probably, you climb into a, a, I don't a think lion. It was for, I don't think it was for kicking his chair. You know? Right. I don't it's think like, it was. He said, "Fucking the guy was super annoying, man." Yeah, and he was like over the thing. You just can't. Yeah, do it. it's like people get crazy. They think that just because he's. Uh, you know, he's Mike Tyson. He's famous. He can't just punch you <laughs> You're annoying him. He's gonna just fucking hit you like a normal person would you know hecklers do that though Yeah, some you know that like yeah, they'll be yeah, talking yeah. and you're like hey shut the fuck up and they'll, <gasps> Right oh, But and you're like, well, you can't talk. Yeah, uh, they didn't bring you down here. They didn't put you up at the fucking extended stay they're not amplifying you and stop, stop talking. That's why booze, when people are like, when I have friends that are like, I'm coming to your show, dude, we're going to the bar first. You're like, no, don't. don't. Who wants to get drunk and sit silently in a dark room? No one. You wanna get drunk and go pay attention? Not only that, like if there's a guy who thinks he might be funny, that's the time. They all think they're funny. When they're yeah, drunk. they want to. I didn't know what to yeah, say. I got you. Uh, and then, you know, the classic after yeah. the show, I helped. And you're like, man. I helped. Yeah, I wonder if that guy was like, I helped that flight. Okay, so honestly, I was thinking the same thing about the whole like register weapon thing because I heard, I, maybe this was just a rumor, I heard that if you are a professional fighter, a boxer, MAA fighter, a kickboxer, whatever, a professional fighter, then you are not allowed to just hit a civilian because your punches are basically lethal weapons. I 
I 100% believe that. I didn't know you had to like go register them as lethal weapons. I thought it was just a rule, right? So tell me if that's true or not. If that was just like one of those rumors, like, I don't know, you're not supposed to eat before you swim because you get a cramp. I don't know if that's a rumor either. And if it is true, is it because Mike, is it because Mike Tyson is basically retired, even though I know he's like kind of coming out of retirement, but he's basically retired or do you literally have to go like register them and he didn't do that? I don't know. Either way, I feel like this guy is going probably most likely get a payday out of this. Maybe they can get out of it. Maybe Mike Tyson's lawyer, I'm pretty sure can afford the best of the best. Lawyer is going to argue that this guy has a long criminal record like they just mentioned. Therefore, you know, this is a repeated behavior. Anybody would have hit him. Maybe he can get out of it that way. Do I think this guy was looking for a payday? No, I honestly think that Joe Rogan's right. I don't think he even imagined for one second Mike Tyson would hit him because he's a celebrity, he's a professional athlete, a professional fighter because he's going to protect his career, his image, and all those things by not hitting me and was trying to basically take advantage of that. He was really intoxicated. Also, I mean, I saw the video inside the plane did look quite nice, but why Mike Tyson? Why are you on JetBlue? I just always feel like JetBlue is like the ghetto like luxury plane or something like that. But anyway guys, tell me what you think. Do you think this guy is going to get a big payday, payday out of this? Do you think he, uh, you know, he's, Mike Tyson is not gonna give him a dime? Do you think Mike Tyson should have hit him or Mike Tyson should have just not done that because he's a professional athlete, professional fighter. He's gonna hit him harder than anybody could. However, I would say this, that I don't think Mike Tyson was full, bloody, full blown hitting him because if he saw the side of the guy's face, his face was like, yeah, he had some scratches and it was definitely probably gonna bruise the next day. But I feel like Mike Tyson, if he really wanted to hurt you, your jaw would have been broken. Your eye would have been hanging out of the socket. You know what I mean? You would have had, you would have been concussed. So I kind of think Mike Tyson was giving him purposely baby taps for him. Like, you know, maybe for his strength, that would be baby taps. But, you know, tell me anyway, what do you think if Mike Tyson should have put his hands on him, knowing that he's a professional fighter? Um, let me know in the comment section below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell icon to notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel any further, you can donate. My PayPal me link is in the description box below and also in the comment section. Of course it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, subscribe. Another great way to support this channel is either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my brand new merch shop. Links down below. I also have a second travel vlog channel. I travel as a lifestyle or a live abroad. If you'd like to know where I am in the world, you can go to the description box below and also in the comment section. Hit the link, go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on my travel Instagram. My stories is usually what's most up to date. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye!